Okay, so I just got done recording my uh, Vegeta this, the discussion, and, I, and I, I, like, like, like I said, I really want to get the feed the Future Trunks one out here too. So yeah, uh, Future Trunks. Really not. I really got nothing much to say about him. I mean, Future Trunks is personally one of my favorite characters in all of Dragon Ball, right next to Gohan, and and. Uh, um, right above Vegeta for me because I just love Trunks all that much and his return to Dragon to Dragon Ball and Super was I I thought I, I thought it was great for the for the for the most for the most part I did like the little power up but I I, I do not I just feel like that he it should have gotten some explanation but then again the ending to the entire arc was rushed for some reason even though it was literally the littiest arc the entire series has seen for a good for a good while, okay. Um, but what 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 do I gotta say about Trunks? Uh, feature, feature Trunks. I mean, he really has. I mean, for what for what we got from him, uh, nothing really much. Like we like we still have that Trunks that is still desperate to de to like end the whole Android shit, and he's and at this point he ha he has no idea about Cell in this point of in interdimensional. So, yeah, we're still gonna have that revel revel revelation with that, but with him, but it's just wow. But and at, at this point, like if y'all saw episode eleven, he literally got fucked up by an, an Android third third thirteen, just basically just like in the movie, because I literally, I literally use clips from the Android thirteen movie because they're basically part of the main storyline to keep Go Goku Trunks and the others busy. So, for sell, but yeah, uh, um, but the thing is, what do I really want to do with him? I mean, I really, I still want, now as, as a character, I still want him and Vegeta to in interact. So Vegeta can lean more towards, like, more caring about his own family, and that, that, that will lead Vegeta to, like, the Vegeta that we all know and love. Uh, the one that was heavily de developed, and we saw like how much of a better guy he is by the Boo Saga. So, so Trunks, I really got no clue on what to do with him after the Android arc because he's he's such a heavily he heavy character, heavily involved character in the Cell Saga that in in, in the entire Cell arc. And Android Saga stuff. He is such a heavily involved character in that. You, what do I gotta do to bring him back much later? I mean, you could say that Bulma would use her own time machine to go back in time, to go into the future, to get Future Trunks to fight in the Dimension War, possibly. Uh, that would that would be great. I would like to see that. I mean, I think everybody would like would like, like to see that, but I, but I would like to do that. Um, other than that, like I I do not I do not know. I mean, he's basically because if I do end up bringing him back, I really have no idea what to do with him because so he'll basically just be there for basically fan service. Uh, other than just, the, but I do still want to get him moments with Vegeta, and if he does come 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 back, or even Gohan because Gohan is definitely going to be. A, a better developed character uh, because of <laughs> the, you know the plan like how I want to get go on in the dimension war is gonna like I like just how I'm gonna introduce him back into the series it's gonna it's gonna be badass I just I, I'm just thinking about it right now but uh, but trunks I really God I'm really thinking on what to do with Trunks, but how? But who he's been established as, as a character? What the hell am I gonna do? <laughs> like his storyline basically ends with the Cell Saga. That that's basically the, that was basically the entire story storyline, just go, going back in time, trying to fix it. But you know he basically messed it up by because it was basically his fault that it sells there, and. He goes back in time, destroys the androids in the future because of how much stronger he is. That's it. That was basically his storyline. And I love Trunks. Don't get me wrong, I love him. Hell, I love his storyline in, in Dragon Ball Super. But I just do not... 
know what to do with him. I mean, he's a badass. We got a bunch of, we got a bunch of badasses here in Aaron Dimensional, especially what's what's later on. Oh my god. But um just I really have no idea. Like 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 I said before on my Christmas break uh video video like not like literally just about like a, a, a day or two ago. I lo I really have no idea what the I really the, the trunks discussion right here is going to be difficult to talk about because I really have no idea what to do with trunks. It now if y'all have like an idea on what I I could do like maybe because of the Majin Buu stuff he might come back but again I have no fucking clue it's it's kind of confusing to me and I, I still want to I still want to bring him back as a character without bringing him back as just fan service like just fan service just to bring him back for just a short period of time because he's just there and he's doing his thing and that's it like I, I, I do not want to bring him back just for that it would feel convenient as hell just like I said about our, our plan for Regina, if I want to put him in, in, in the devil art, like, like for what I was thinking of, or what I'm thinking of actually, or basically originally at this point, like if I brought Vegeta in that certain certain point in her, in the devil arc, it, it's gonna it's gonna feel convenient. Now I I I don't want for it to be convenient. Now this this is gonna this is gonna be hard. I'm really. Cause, Cause there's so many characters I really want to staff, really, really, really wanted to, to develop and grow. But when, but when you got like, just like a move. But the thing is, when it comes to shows and animes and TV series alike, you can literally stretch, stretch, stretch out the series long because you can literally, you literally have storylines developing certain characters and giving them the development that they that, that they deserve. I mean, high high school DXD is doing that. They've been doing that. I mean the fair, the Fallen Angel arc they did it with Issei. The second the second half, which was the Riser arc, majorly involving Rius. Uh, first half of uh, season two, which was the Holy Sword arc, that was focused on Kiba. Second half was mostly focused on Issei involved volume most, most most mostly, even though they didn't really focus that on that much just, and, uh, until like the meeting stuff happened, but. Then the first half of that, it focused on other characters like, well, at least in season three, they did they did focus on Konoko, at least for a good bit, which I, which I, which I really liked. They focused on Ozia for a good part. I mean, they did also do Ozia as well in the first half. It, it, again, it's just like high school DxD. Stretch it out for as long as you develop your characters. And there's so many that I got. Like, I really want to develop, like, literally almost, like, lots of characters in each arc. Because it's in each major arc. It, it, and I really want to... And then there's, like, so many characters in all, all these franchises that I really want to get involved. But there's certain ones I'm just like, wow. So, with Future Trunks, what the fuck am I going to do with him? It, 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 it's literally... It, it's literally something that is really confusing to me and that's kind of one of the reasons why I really wanted to talk about it in this video because I really have no clue on what to do with Trunks after the Android arc. After that, and if I do end up bringing them back, it's going to feel like convenient fan service and I don't want to do that because I want Trunks to come back and have his moments. I uh, want to, not for a short period of time, like like cameos in a video game. That's just mm. feature trunks. Even if I did bring them back, uh, I mean, I, 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 there is a point in the Crimson World arc that I might put them in, and it could help out with the storyline I'm gonna be putting Goku and Vegeta in, but. I don't know how to, how how that's gonna work. I mean, that that could literally be the only point that Trunks becomes heavily involved for for that. I mean, for a good while, maybe because again, I really have no idea what what to, what to do with them after the an Android arc, other than freaking you know all 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 of his you know all his freaking out about all this shit and and uh, Vegeta and Goku and go on everyone else. 
What the fuck am I going to do? I mean, again, I, I could potentially bring him back in the, in the Dimension War as well, but I really have no idea. Now, in terms of character development, what am I going to do with Trunks? Literally, uh, again, definitely going to help, help him, but again, I really do want to... I don't know. I still want Trunks to be the same guy on who he is and who he's been in introduced as. It's kind of like Go Goku throughout the entirety of Dragon Ball. He's he's literally been the same character except with like some minor changes. Uh, but 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 than that, he's been kind of the same. Trunks literally has been has been the type of character that has been like so much shit. Now will I now will I, will I be showing some flashbacks of the uh? the the fe the feature trunks move movie which, which involves of him and feature gohan well i'll we'll be showing flashbacks in that movie may maybe just to flesh out trunks' character more as his own character in this series he's still already an established character in dragon ball and he's still that character here but i want to keep him as that established character here as well and not act like that, that he is that character that's just been introduced and that's it. Because I know that like, some people are going to critique this series just for that. Because cause I do want my series to like be, you know, good at character development. And I really want to get started with character development for like much later on and keep that going and, and start, start it from here now because why the hell not? Because if I want to flesh out and develop my, my characters all like just just straight up develop all these characters much later in the series. I might as well get started with Trunks now and 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 still give you like a bit of insight on who he is. I know mostly everyone knows who he is and what he's been through, but I know there's gonna be some people that just, I just do not want to watch Dragon Ball, but I've seen other a animes. I, I I I guarantee it. So, but yeah, as a as that character, yeah. I know I've been rambling. I know I was rambling a lot on like what to do, what what, what to do with Trunks, but that that's that's basically my actual thoughts. Okay, I I, I love me some feature Trunks. He's literally one of my fa He's literally my second favorite Dragon Dragon Ball character. Um, Gohan Gohan is my number one. Vegeta's number no, number three for for me. Go Goku's number four. I mean I don't get me wrong. I still fucking fucking fuck, love Goku, but. I just love the other characters more because I just feel like they're just all, just better developed. That's, that's just all I'm saying. Uh, even though Goku's went through a lot of development, OG Dragon Dragon Ball, I just I, I, I just love those characters more. Okay, I just love Dragon Ball Z more. Damn it! Uh, <laughs> that, that, that is my prime pre preference for real. But Trunks, I really want to do something with that guy. Other than like, I really want him to do, I really want him to have his moments, especially here. So, I again, I do, so I, I, I do still want to flesh him out as a character, because I don't want him to be there just for nothing, because he's still one of my favorite characters, and I do not want to fuck it up with him here. I really don't. So, other than that, what do I really got to do? I mean, I mean, even if he does come back much later, who is he gonna be teaming up with? With the whole shit going on. <laughs> um, I'm thinking about. I mean, v Vegeta obviously, Gohan obviously, maybe feature Gohan. I have no idea. I'm, I'm gonna be reusing feature Gohan clips for days because of the. Oh man, but. But yeah, it's uh, maybe Go Goku, like him teaming up with Goku, would be good. I may, I may, I may actually use Dragon Ball Super clips of Future Trunks teaming up with Vegeta, because I know there's some moments where he literally teams up with him and literally just gets lit without you know Vegeta using Super Saiyan Blue. Because I I, I don't know. I, I mean, we're gonna go that far with Super Saiyan Blue in, in the series. I, I'm not. Um, I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, guys, um, I have no idea. If y'all got that guys some ideas on what I could do, let 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 me know in the comments. 
because I love Trunks. I really wanted him to get a bit, a bit more involved, but I do not want it to. Yeah. Hope you guys did someone enjoyed this though. Like the video if y'all enjoyed it. Subscribe if y'all want to see more. Comment below what y'all think. If any of y'all new to the channel and want to see more, be sure to subscribe for more. And you know, hope you guys did someone enjoyed this, and uh, I will see y'all in, 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 in the next one. And, and the next character we're going to be talking talk, talk about next is a character from Full Metal Alchemist that was technically already in introduced by the first episode. Y'all know, y'all probably already know who I'm talking about. Survivor out.